Hey guys, in this video we are going to take our first look at Core Ajax, which is a really cool polymer element, part of the Core Elements collection. Now, uh, in the previous videos we built up this little application that cycles through these uh, uh, elements in the this.people element uh, and populates our name tag component with the, those uh, values. Now what we're going to do is do an Ajax call to retrieve that data rather than having it hard-coded. Now we could install super agent jQuery, whatever to do our Ajax call for us. But what we're going to use again is something called Polymer core Ajax. So I'm just using Bower here to install that. All right, that's installed and we can actually import that here. Core Ajax, just like that. And then we can start using that right here in our template. So core-ajax, go ahead and close that. Now, to get this kicked off, we need a few parameters. Uh, the first one's gonna be auto. We're just gonna leave that like that. That basically says anytime, anytime the URL or the parameters change, go ahead and re-execute our Ajax request. The next one's gonna be URL, and we're gonna be using fill text for this. Whoops. And the next one's gonna be params. So these are our parameters. Now this needs to be double quoted JSON. That's straight from their text. So just letting you know. Uh, so our first key is gonna be first name. I'm sorry, we're gonna need rows. Let's say 10 rows of data. You know, I'm gonna make that five. Then we're gonna have a key called first name or F name. And that is gonna be our first name function. If uh, you're not familiar with fill text, this is all it does. It just generates uh, JSON data. So L name for last name. And then this one will be our company key. And there we can pass in business. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is tell it what type of data we're expecting. So that we say handle as equals, in our case, that's going to be JSON. So finally, and there's a lot of different ways to do this, but I'm just going to show you the absolutely simplest way to do this is going to be turn our response into an object called people in our, uh, basically it's taking the place of this people array. So technically we don't need any of that anymore. We don't even really need any of this script, but let's go ahead and save this and jump over to our index HTML. Now, one thing that's gonna happen here, uh, and this is probably a better practice than what I've been doing in some of my videos where I'm just including Polymer.js, which is totally fine until you start running into other components that are bringing in Polymer on its own. Uh, so the way we get around that kind of dependency collision is just by, whoop, not platform, Polymer, bringing in Polymer HTML instead of Polymer.js. And if we go take a look at that, it's really just doing some stuff that we've seen in the past. It's bringing in this script, Polymer.js. It's also bringing in layout. We're not using that right now. Technically we could delete that and it wouldn't cause a problem, but we're just gonna leave it there for now. So let's try this out, reload. Ah, broke something. Let's take a look at our errors here. Syntax error. Trying to parse as JSON, so let's see. Uh, you know what, this should actually be rows. Let's load that up, and there we go. We have our random, let me drop this down to, let's just say three rows. So every time I refresh, it's making that new call to filltext.com and populating our data, and then uh, it immediately turns our response into our people object, so then when we get the person in people, it just cycles through that. So every time I refresh, we get a new group of people. Now there are a ton of options with Core Ajax. Uh, in this case, we just immediately turned our response into the, the named object that we needed. Uh, but technically you could do on core response. Let's see, and then we could have our own handler. We'll say handle response. And then we could do that here. So handle response is a function takes in this E object and the way that we get to that is uh, this dot people equals E dot details. I think it's D 
it's either details or details, we'll see, and then response. Uh, so this would technically do the same thing. Response of undefined, so I think it's just detail, reload, there we go. So that's another way that we can handle that if we needed to massage the data or do anything with it. Uh, but I think it's really cool that we could just tie that to our response. We could get rid of all of our JavaScript here. And then up here in our element, just say no script. And that should work just fine. Nope, it certainly did not. Uh, maybe I pushed it a little too far there, guys. <laughs> oh, you know what? No, no, that was fine. Uh, so response is people. So yeah, we should be fine there. There we go. So there you go. That is a quick look at Core Ajax. It is pretty darn awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you have a good one.